Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play uh, Timberborn. Welcome back to Beaverham. This will be episode six in the series. And today, what I want to do is focus on uh, kind of increasing our timber production. Uh, we have this out here, which is all maple, and so and we've already got these are growing really well. So we're going to have a lot of logs, I feel like. But we do need to increase the plank production because we've got a lot of logs, but not a lot of planks coming in. So what I want to do is I want to build another water wheel in here to capitalize on this flowing water here. But what I want to do is put it more in the center. So like around here, oh interesting, we could connect these. I wonder if that would increase the production on that same line. In which case we might be able to just extend this out. Or this one, yeah, let's do this. Put this here. Might be too far for them. Oh no, they can get there. Okay. So they're going to go over and build that 50 logs. It will take. Let's go ahead and speed this up. But I'm feeling pretty good about our food right now. If a drought comes, we should be okay. And we are transferring our water production to over here. So we're gonna get rid of this and have all the water production up here, which when the drought comes, we'll be able to shut this off and continue to pull in our own water. We're like, have a lot of water stored in there, especially because this lake goes all the way over here and eventually most of that water Oh no, I guess that is all one level there, isn't it? I want to control this water more at some point too. I think we're going to want to put levees in here and build that into an actual stream going through there. But for now, we've got... These are all employed already. That is very quick, and hopefully we'll get this water up, and then we'll be able to move everything over there. We'll keep these ones there. But I guess this will have to wait then, because they're going to be working on this over here. And I guess we can add more, more beavers, because I do feel good about the food right now. Let's get three more houses in there. And then once we up the production on the timber, then I will start to build the second level of that. And I'll feel pretty good about soon trying to figure out how to build a levee to get the river to go through here and have more control over this, which will also increase the flow. Which I wonder what we could do here. We could probably put a levee in here. Yeah, we're going to want to do that all around, I think. And just kind of control that water a bit more. So this is open now, up and built. These ones will go up pretty quick too. So really the biggest thing we're waiting on is more lumber. Oh look, this already got built. Very good, so now that has a lot of power. Very good. We get a structure here. And I think we need a structure or like platform there for the gears. And then we can bring a gear here. Oh, we need to take this out. Okay, so we'll get those platforms built, and then we're going to shut this whole thing down while we change this gear into a four-way. And then we can bring that over here, and we can get two lumber mills right there. And they should have enough power. We have... Uh, we need 170. So we have, what is that, 190? Yeah, 190 power there, and we need 50 for each of those. We could get a third one, I think. Yeah, we could get another one over here. We'll be killing the lumber production. I think that will be the plan. Once these are in, then we'll change that, and we'll change this, too. But in the meantime... Oh, this one got built, too. Very good. So we should get a lot of water stored. Those houses got built. They are working fast. I'm quite pleased about that. Storage is full too, so that we're at the limit of how much food we can get. 
which I feel like maybe it's time to get the large warehouse. Let's go for it. We'll put one of these here. They don't stack quite as well. Yeah, and I can't really feel, I can't find a good way to do this. They could go on top though. Yeah, we could put a large one up on top here. Let's do that. We'll put that there. So then we need to get a stairwell up there. We need a platform here. Stairwell there. Actually, put it there. Path there. Path over this way. And a platform over like that. Path there. Okay, so that will get more storage there. Waiting for these to be built and for this to be built. Anything that doesn't require planks is going very quickly, but these require planks and gears. So they're going to take a while. Let's prioritize this. Get these up and going, guys. Because that will allow us to get more planks sooner. Yes, very good. We've got one plank there. We need three more. I'll have some coffee. I love how far this lumber is going to. Is it like at the very edge of the district? But that is all good. I think we're going to need another thing over this way. And like another district over here. Wow, we've got a lot there. We're going to need to figure out how to get water up there. We could get water in here if we filled it more. But that wouldn't really help us over there. Uh, we're going to want to put some levees in here that will help with that. Okay, that is built. We can take this out. Yes, and this one. Put that there, and that one there. Make this high priority. Okay, then... We want to get, oh, we could get two more over here. Get one there, two, three. Is that what, um, let's do four. Just because I feel like we can push the power just a little bit there. Although then we lose the space back there. We'll do one there. And one here for now. So we want power there. And this needs to be paused so they can get the power here. There we go. So they should build that power line, and then they'll be able to get that in there. And then we could bring a path in here and put something in here. I don't know what can Maybe like more water or something. Water water storage is good to have all over the place. Okay, so that's getting built. There we have another lumber thing going. This is very good. I like this design where we have them linked and then we have the power connecting a whole line here. May have to do that over here too. We could get another water wheel here. We could bring power over this way and get more lumber on that side too. That'd be very good. How's the oh we've got three of those now. Excellent. Lots of water, lots of food. This is still under construction. This is ready to go. Unpause that. Make that a higher priority. And it should go fast. They only need logs. 
then we need more workers too. We have one unemployed. Oh, just had some grow up. Perfect. So then, what I want to do is I want to clear this planting area. We're going to add more lumber in here. spot. And I want them to cut these trees rather quickly, but I don't know how soon they will chop them down. That'll be okay. This is all going well, and I think once we have, I think this is as far as we're going with this, and maybe we'll turn this into a farm. We have a lot of good green farmland now. And I'm thinking if we block this here, we'll have more flat land there, or like make this even smaller. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So we are going to take this path out. Yes. And here. Yes. And then we're going to put a stairwell there and there, so now we can get in there. And levees take only logs, so we'll be able to build that very nice in there. This is about Now we just need to get these logs out of there. These trees. And they'll get chopped down soon enough. These are up and running too, that is very good. Okay, so planks are being produced. We don't really need to worry about them just yet anyway. But what we do need to worry about is uh, this is pretty far from a district. This one needs planks and planks are currently, actually that, that's all built. No, we need them over here still. Yeah, they have to make it over here to build these. We just need more logs, or more planks. Oh, this is up and running now. Oh, no, it doesn't have a path. Oh, we need more. Okay, it will get built and up and running. And then we should, I mean, we have one, two, three, four lumber mills now. So we should have a pretty good production there. And I think what I'll do over here is we're going to make the river too deep so that we can get the water mills over here. We can put them, oh, it has to be four wide. Yeah, four wide. One, two, three, four. Let's look at this here. It's too far from anything. But that would be the plan. What we may have to do is get that district going, which may mean stopping this flood. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, it's about to be a drought. So, on the other side of the drought, we will not flood this so that we can build over there. We'll get a district on the other side of that levee and go from there. But first, we have a drought. We are going to close everything. That is already closed. Okay. It's the only one that matters then. Which also means our lumber production is on hold for the next five days, but our water production is still in good shape because this is holding water in here. And it is holding water all through here. So we've got a lot of water to pull out 
as needed. That will work. This storage is open now and working. This is built up, so that is good. Just we have too many logs. And we're not using them now. So I feel like let's go ahead and just get another log pile. Especially because we're going to go through a lot over here now. Let's put two log piles in. And then we'll have a lot of reason to have them chopping down the rest of these trees too. Alright, I am feeling really good about oh, what? That is not in the right spot. Okay, take this out. And we will put... Well, no, let's do a levy. They take logs and we can build with logs right away. There goes that idea on the water. He's here then. That will be worth it. And we can start planning this out. So we can't get the requirements there, but we can get the path over here and like start planning this. Bring this over here and we'll put the gate. Uh, we'll put the gate on top of this. So then this is going to be a new district. And we want, eventually we're going to want to build all the way down here. Yeah, the levee can just go straight that way. And then we'll have to build a levee out this way to maybe block it here. We can go from there and figure that out. Two days left on this drought. We have plenty of water and food. I feel really good about that. Let's go ahead and add more housing. And we need to do a second level to do that, which means more logs and planks, which we don't have. Well then, that idea is out. Let's go ahead and move the, or like get the district over here then. So we get a district center, then we need logs. And let's get a log pile here. And we're going to need to haul stuff over there. Let's do distribution post. We can go in here. And a drop off point. Then they need water over here. We can just do small water tanks for now. We'll get one, two, three. And the first thing we need to do is get this built and then we can set up supply routes to get food and water over there. And then we will move, start moving people over there. And the more beavers we move over there, the more space we'll have for them to keep breeding. That will work, and this is up and running now. That was fixed. Very good. Okay, and over in here, we are still not taking these down. I don't want to just mark them for clearing them. Maybe what I'll do is I will remove... Don't cut that anymore. Just cut these ones down before anything else. Hopefully that will work. This got, oh no, that didn't have to be built. We're waiting for this to get built, but we need planks for that, of course. 
So the shortage of planks is the theme of the episode, even though we were focusing on adding the, like, improving the timber industry. But, uh, I think we have made progress on that, and that'll be good. It's also key that we've made it all the way through a drought without running out of water here or here. So that makes me really happy, and we'll get more water stored over in here soon, too. So that'll be really good. But that is it for today. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.